Hey, it's Greg coming at you, and I just wanted to explain to you how the lease purchase would work with us, uh, tell you some of the benefits of it, answer some questions, and tell you how you can, how you can get started. Uh, the lease purchase came around for us because we were set, buying, renovating, and reselling homes, and um, we wanted to avoid the paying of real estate commissions. We also had a bunch of rental properties that we wanted to sell. We wanted to do so without paying real estate commissions and selling for top dollar. We tried the lease purchase and found it to be very successful to be able to sell our properties and avoid the hassle of paying real estate commissions. In the meantime, we accumulated a list of thousands of tenant buyers that were interested in, in purchasing or lease purchasing from us, but obviously we didn't have that many homes. So we tried to figure out a way in which we could work with folks that either had their house on the market for sale or for rent that would like to sell their house without vo avoiding paying the real estate commissions, and that's where we came come up with this program. So what exactly is a lease purchase? Well, the lease purchase is a combination of a lease and a purchase option. It gives the, the tenant buyer the exclusive right to purchase it during that lease term. Um, and the way that we would work together is you would authorize us to, or basically give us an option to lease purchase your property at a set, a set, a set rental amount and a set sales price. You can still, it's not an obligation. You can still rent your, try to rent your property or try to sell your property just as you're doing now. Um, if you decide to try to list your property, you can still do that. Uh, list your property for sale with a real estate agent. It would just give us the opportunity to try to lease purchase it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and try to lease purchase it for a higher amount than the terms that you and I have agreed upon. So the tenant buyer is going to pay an upfront fee. It's called an option consideration. It's a non-refundable amount that goes toward their down payment when they go to purchase it. We're going to make sure that that amount is still going to get you the net price that you're looking to get for the home. Uh, let me give you an example. If, a price, if you were looking to get your house uh, lease purchase for $1,000 a month and $100,000, we might market your property at $109,900 and uh, ex expect to collect a fee of two to $3,000 from our incoming tenant buyer. You're still going to net a price above $100,000, so it's still a good win-win situation for everyone involved. So that's uh, our, our contracts that we have designed are also s specific toward lease purchasing. Um, real estate agents do not have them. We have a gear to the tenant buyer paying on time. They have much more of an owner's mentality because they want to eventually purchase their house, purchase the house. They're not just going to be in the house for a year or two and then out the door. We also have a built-in incentive in there for a rent credit for them to pay on time and perform the minor maintenance in the house. So all these things get subtracted off the price that we're marketing the property for, but still ensure that you're getting the price that you're looking to get for the home. Okay, I wanted to answer some of the questions that commonly come up. Uh, the first thing is, are you guys real estate agents? No, we're not real estate agents. We're not representing you as the seller or the tenant buyer. We're simply just taking a contract and assigning it over for a fee to the uh, incoming tenant buyer. We're not collecting a commission. We're just simply making money or off the spread off the two transactions. Uh, the next thing that folks often ask is, am I going to get a, um, some of that option consideration or do I get some kind of security deposit? Uh, no, there's not a security deposit that's paid, but the tenant buyer is going to be feeling a lot more obligated than, than as if they were renting it. If, you, if, if a, tenant, a tenant pays you a security deposit, in essence, that's not your money because you're going to eventually have to give that money back. Now, when you do a lease purchase, the tenant buyer is going to be placing down an option consideration which is going to be significant, usually two to three times as much as a security deposit. And then on top of that, we have a built-in incentive for them to pay on time, um, what's called a rent credit, that they're going to be accumulating each month in the place. So it's going to feel like they're going to be walking away from many thousands of dollars if they don't purchase your place or they decide to move out at some point during that lease term. These are people that are really looking to buy your house, so it's not like you know someone's going to come in and damage it and be gone. These are folks that are, again, looking to purchase it. Um, some of the other questions, can, can we do this while the property is listed? Um, usually if the property is already listed, we don't target those, but if you decide to list it at some point in the future, you can. You just have to make sure that you exclude us from the, uh, from the listing agreement. Those are probably the biggest questions that come up. If you have any other ones, feel free to email me, um, and I'll be happy to answer them, or call, call me up, and I'll be happy to answer those. And I really want you to feel comfortable with the whole the, the transaction and how it's going to, to proceed. So I'll be happy, to, again, to answer any questions that you've got. We we'll look forward to working with you.